Hello everyone, my name is Dave, partner of Zalo and uh, welcome to your Firebase 3 plus Ionic 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be using Firebase, the new Google Firebase, to build um, the back end for a mobile app and then the front end will be built with Ionic 2. And of course, you know Ionic 2 works with AngularJS, which is very powerful, and TypeScript too. So you should be expecting a very powerful and robust application that has native features and it's hybrid too so at the end of it all we will use html css and javascript to build an android and ios application all right so um let's head over to the to start we need to install some things to kick off so let's just head over so before we start the installation i want to let you know the things that we will be building we will be building a sample application that we will call fire blogger it will be a blogging platform for mobile a mobile app that is a blogging platform and then here are the, the basic features it will have it will have user registration it will have login to have users can create a post and then users can see list of posts and of course users can add comments all right um, that's settled the next thing you need to do is to download and install node.js so you visit node.js.org and um, you download node.js once node.js is installed in your system um, there are two versions you have recommended version for 4.5 for most users then you have 6.6 this is the one i'm using and i don't have any problem with it so far all right then uh, once you install node.js you need to install uh, then we we can now go in and start installing ionic remember that the the url for ionic is ionicframework.com and um, we are using Ionic 2. When you visit ionicframework.com, this is the home page. Um, this is the URL to Ionic 2. And so far, it's in beta. And um, once you click on it, you can click on Get Started to, and um, to be able to navigate some of the tutorials that you have there. All right. And once you install your Node.js, make sure that um, sometimes it might require that you restart your system. You may just need to restart your system. And then once your system is restarted, you go to your start menu and um, you search for node, N-O-D-E, and these guys will pull up. Um, don't, don't fall for the temptation of using this one. This is the one you need. You just need your command prompt, uh, any command prompt in your system. Once Node.js is installed properly, any command prompt will work, except um, I've, I've had issues personally working with this guy here, so don't use it. All right, so here we are. First of all, the thing you need to do is to install Ionic. As you can see from the Ionic homepage, we can install Ionic using this command npm install gionic. This g is for global. Uh, in, in case you've used my, uh, you've gone through my other tutorials on. Okay, first, uh, let's just quickly install this npm install. G Ionic. All right. Um. Sometimes you might just need to add a beta because they are still in beta version. Then you hit enter. I've already installed Ionic, so I don't need to install it again. Um. The next thing you would want to install is um. You need Cordova, so you will have to install Cordova. NPM G install Cordova. This is your second installation. All right, so once you have this installed, then we can start doing other things. Quickly create, you, you, you navigate to any folder in your system. If you're comfortable with this folder, that's, that's okay. If you're comfortable with your, um, your desktop, that's still okay too. You can create an app in your desktop, all right? So depending on, uh, which part of your system you're comfortable with so but let's just work with desktop so I created a sample app and I want to get this the URL I want to get I've copied the URL to my desktop come to my command prompt and um, CD uh, right click on your mouse or your keyboard your right click will show you this and um, we have something like this 
when you click enter we've done cd is for change directory we have navigated to our desktop now so anything we're doing will be on our desktop so let's create an ionic app so according to the um tutorial here the documentation here is the the command for creating an ionic app so we'll create ionic start fire blogger so um we don't need to put this it's already in version 2 but if you do it to create a fire blogger for version 2 and then you need internet connection to be able to pass this thing in fact most of the things you'll be building in this app in fact all everything you will be building in this app you will need internet connection all right and then the faster your internet connection is the better so once this completes we will have to go to firebase and create a uh, an account with firebase so you visit uh, firebase.google.com google.com and be careful not to fall to the temptation of going to the old firebase this is the old firebase firebase.com and i'll open two of them so you see the difference so this is firebase on google and then once you come there if you have a google account you just do your registration and everything i already have an account here what you do is go to console and view your apps this is the old firebase as you can see um, they have moved over to google so don't use whatever is here whatever is here is for firebase 2 all right so this is not it we get back to this place here are some some sample apps i've created and then what you have is you hit on create a new project and in the project what's the project name we'll call it fire blogger and um, which country we are in the best country in the world currently and um, the best place for vacation in the whole wild world uh, nigeria all right so you create project and um, we've created our project this is like creating our backend our firebase our, our database our notification systems our user registration system everything all right, so here is a Firebase account that has been created and it's called FireBlogger. Remember that if you are more than one person um, working on this app, you can always use here to add um, more people to the project. Okay, so um, here are some of, of the things you can do with this Firebase. So it handles your user registrations, handles your database, handles your storage. You have like one gig um, space. Where you can upload your pictures and your users can upload their profile pictures and videos and stuff comes free too then you have your hosting where in case you wanted to host your your firebase app you can host it as a website okay and it will give you a url you can use to access it then you have um you have remote config you have test lab and crash and then you have notifications which is very important can do push notifications then you can put adverts to your app so this uh, an all-in-one uh, package all right so once you have firebase you don't need to install any other thing all right let's get back to our console and see if we are true as you can see um, we're not true yet creating it's still downloading and doing stuff online trying to create a um, ionic application all right, so the, yours might take a longer time depending on the strength of your internet connection or shorter if, if your internet connection is faster. So, but once it's done, then we are good to go. All right. Uh, so far, so good. As um, this is still installing, we have to install uh, two more things and then we call it npm install g type in type script. Like I told you, Ionic 2 makes use of AngularJS and then makes use of TypeScript. So everybody needs TypeScript in their system. You hit enter. I already have it. And uh, it will install TypeScript. After that, you need something else called TypeIns. Um, you install this tool and hit enter. It will install TypeIns and TypeScript for you. All right. And then um, those are all the final things you need to install to have your app running perfectly. Remember, if you have any issues, you can always leave a comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on youtube if you want to visit my channel just visit youtube.com slash c slash brain and i've made so many video tutorials and i made tutorials on startups and stuff like that but once you arrive at my 
channel and click on subscribe all right so thank you very much see you in the next video and hopefully by that time this guy has completed thank you see you